<coughs> hey guys, um, yeah, sorry I didn't post a video on Friday. I sort of got sidetracked by, like, festival stuff that I was preparing for. I went to Electric Zoo for my birthday weekend. Yes, I turned 29 this week. Yeah, I'm fucking old as shit. I know. I'm only a year from 30. It's so old. Alright, anyways. Today we're gonna discuss coping with becoming an amputee. Um, my friend Tyler, uh, help, he's, in a, he's a bilateral amputee who helped me make this video. He's not gonna be in it, but he wrote me, like, a couple paragraphs through Facebook Messenger about how to cope with being an amputee and how it's difficult and stuff, so let's begin. Alright, first of all, the biggest thing is you're gonna get your leg cut off. That's like a, like, removing a body part, like, that takes, that takes a little bit to heal. It takes a bit longer for diabetics like me, so I think for a regular amputee, it probably takes about four weeks to heal, and for me, it took like eight weeks to heal, because I'm a type 1 diabetic and diabetes makes shit ten times harder. Um, alright, so, main thing you gotta do after you get amputated, you have to start building those muscles in what's left of your leg, so that you can walk when you get your prosthetic. Now, walking with a prosthetic, that's complicated in the beginning because, honestly, it feels like you're walking on stilts. For a bilateral amputee, it feels like you're walking with two stilts. And for me, I it's just like walking with one stilt. So, uh, generally in the beginning, the doctors or nurses will give you uh, a walker or some crutches or a wheelchair. I was given a walker so that I could like be active and run around my, well not run, but hop around my house without issue. Yeah. And um, you're gonna be, you're gonna start physical therapy pretty much like three days after you get your leg chopped off. That's just how it works. I don't know why, that's just wh how they do it. So if you think it looks easy, believe me, it's not easy in the beginning, but if with practice, and muscle building, it will get a lot easier. So, do you guys remember that Boy Scout mode, like, always be prepared? Yeah, that, like, certainly applies to being an amputee. So, for me, I'm a uh, below-the-knee amputee on my right side. So, that means I, I, I pack... My, my boyfriend actually packs my extra prosthetic. The, the first prosthetic I got, I got that I hate with a burning passion because it's heavy. Yeah. And we'll pack extra ply socks and liners and Tylenols. Yeah, I, new, weed's not legal in New York, so I can't just be walking down the street smoking a J. Yeah, it sucks. If I lived in California, it might be a little bit more okay. Alright. So, in the beginning, you have to focus on, like, building the muscles in your leg. Believe me, if you build the muscle in your, in your leg, like... Well enough, like, walking will come very easily. Like, I was fortunate enough to, like, I mean, I, I waited a couple hours after I got my prosthetic before I tried walking without the walker. Because I'm not even gonna lie, I was really scared in the beginning. So, yeah. Now, there's a lot of other shit that comes with being an amputee. Okay, so it's not just, like, the fact that, like, you have to learn how to walk again and you have to, like, deal with attaching, like carbon fiber body parts to your body but you know you also have like you also have to deal with like the way the, the that people will look at you now that's pretty hard to cope with like you'll get sometimes you'll get like really rude questions or someone will just call you like a rude word just because you fucking look different just don't even react to it because like Honestly, I feel that disabled people already have a bad name because, like, of those fake disabled people, but we'll go into those people later, another day. But, yeah, um, you're gonna get idiotic questions, and people are gonna stare at you, and unwanted jokes are gonna be, like, made. Um, you'll get, uh, the, the main question you get as an amputee is, like, how did it happen? Or... Oh, does your foot look like a real foot? I mean, not really. I mean, look. It's a blade. The other one sort of looks like a foot, but it's... The color of it isn't even, like, close to, like, the paleness of my skin. But that's not even the point. 
So, um, what else? The main thing I'd suggest not doing is an amputee. If someone, like, decides to fuck with you, like, be rude and, like, call you a cripple or tell you that you, like, serve no purpose in a, in, at all to society and you're better off dead, just please do not flip a shit. Yes, it's fucked up what they're saying. I know. But if you react, like, that just puts a bad name on us. Just brush it off, brush it off, just move on. Yeah, those people, karma will get them, don't worry. It's, karma's real, don't even try telling me that shit ain't real. It's real. Huh. But yeah, bullies are, I mean, I haven't really been bullied that much, but I know some, I know other amputees have been, who have been bullied really hardcore. Yeah. Um, alright, so... I sh should probably tell you how I coped with being an amputee, or becoming an amputee. So, here it goes. Alright, so my leg got chopped off on January 10th, 2016. It's because a nurse chose... Fuck, I wasn't supposed to... Okay, just because. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, whatever. Yeah, I got amputated on January 10th, 2016. And I was in a coma the whole time. So I woke up to having one leg. Yes, it scared the shit out of me. I didn't even know, like, how my life was going to go on. But, you know, I worked really hard in physical therapy and everything. And then, you know, life just got better. And, yeah, the way that I cooked was, okay, you all know about, like, my above and beyond obsession. And I can't, I honestly can't remember if I told you about that. They're this British, like, DJ band. Like, they, I've met them, like, once because I tweeted them every day when I had cancer until I got better, and then I, like, met them at, on my birthday. Yeah. Um, so the way that I coped with being an amputee was, okay, I'm not, I decided I'm not gonna, like, be a sad-ass human being and not, and just, like, sulk at home because I'm missing a limb. I'm gonna get a new limb regardless of the fact, and it's gonna be badass and, like, metal and hardcore. Yeah. So I bought tickets to a concert called Above and Beyond's Group Therapy 200 in Amsterdam. And my goal was my goal was set to be able to dance and be capable to walk well enough that I could go to a concert by myself with my friends in Amsterdam. And you know that really helped me. Like and I also had a lot of support from my from my friends. Like that's the main thing that you guys need support as long as you have support like you should be good uh make go to support groups there's millions of su amputee support groups it's called like amputee coalition like contact them and they'll tell you like where the nearest like support group is being held in your city or go online and or go to a therapist and t I mean, that's what I did. I, I talked to a, a therapist for a little bit. Talk to a therapist about your feelings and how this is hard for you. Talk to a social worker if you want. Just, you cannot just sit at home and bottle it up. Like, you need to keep, yes, you lost a limb. Yes, that's very bad and very hard to handle and cope with. But if you sit at home sulking, it's, it's just going to, like, fuck with you even harder. Just brush it off work hard to like like be competent of walking again and you know there's always going to it's always going to be a little different now that you're an amputee sex is going to be different and uh, taking the subway is going to be a little different i mean yeah but there's also plus sides to amputee life like i experienced the plus side like over the weekend since i'm missing a leg i'm considered handicapped so Music festivals have, like, ADA, like, help. It's, like, a thing for that where people help, like, amputees and people in wheelchairs, like, have a good time at concerts, regardless of the fact that they're not capable of moving or walking or if they're missing a body part. Yeah. You get, it's basically VIP for free. It's awesome. Um, yeah, I know this video, like, didn't go as smoothly as I wanted it to. I'm really sorry about that, but... If you like it, like it. If you have an issue with it, just post a comment. I'll try to fix it in the next video. Um, yeah, that's all. Just...
do what I told you and keep the positivity. That's the main thing. Be positive. Because if you're negative, you're never going to get better. Alright, I'll make, I'm going to have to come up with a new video at some point, but I don't know what to talk about yet. So I'll see you whenever I come up with a new discussion topic.